Okay, here we go. Quick devlog after two days ish programming, a day and a half, however you want to put it. So I just focused on the stats screen area. So I'm just going to choose any random song, go to quick play, go opens the default song, go to stats. Stats, I just quickly optimize just to display a better format. It's still choosing a certain amount of JSON files played recently. And you get to choose, it's sorted by date, the most recent. So usually when you stop a song in your settings, like after you're done playing a song, there's a setting that says show stats after JSON, show stats JSON after stop. So like after the song is over, it'll automatically open the stats for the most recent one, the one that you just played. But anyway, the biggest change I did was on the individual stats right here. So this is uh, after you play a song, it loads the stats of what you just played, or you could just view the stats and click whichever one by date. So the difference is it shows the score, accuracy, longest streak, which is an amount of notes hit in a row, the number of hits and a number of misses. It, it grades the playthrough from a letter grade. Uh, you could have A plus, A minus, right? There's like an S tier, and then I just know there's like a B plus, A, a minus, C plus, all that stuff. And then there's like stars, so you can have, right now I have four out of five, four and a half out of five stars. It's gray, so that's a half star. You go to another one, this is B plus, so it's three and a half. But I spent some time on this progress so the progress bar is like the overall grade that the letter grade and stars are based off. And it takes into consideration three different things. Your accuracy, so accuracy this time 97 out of 100. And then the score, so this time the score, the score is usually over 100 because the way I score, I total the max score right now is the number of notes plus the number of bonuses such as the long, the streak applies bonuses every 10 notes increases the points accumulation from the streak every time you hit a note and there's some other things like note length that increase the note score so getting a high score is the best bet of making your progress go but the other thing that evens it out is the tempo so it, it looks at the current tempo of the song that you're playing now because what happens is if you use the dynamic tempo you alter the tempo of the song based on your playthrough so it keeps that in mind. It says, okay, your tempo score is 85%. So that means you slowed the song down 15% from the default tempo. So that is taken into consideration for the progress. It's like, yeah, I got 97% accuracy and 100% score. I capped the score at 100. But the, the tempo is not 100%. You slowed the tempo down from what that song actually is. So the progress is not yet a steer. So if I go back... And the other thing I spent time on was the global stats. Just to rank every song in the in regards to that song's highest playthrough, highest accuracy, highest. So right now, number one is prob is Interpol. It probably matters. I had 99.57 progress, which means I got 99% accuracy. So I got 100% score, and the tempo was 100%. So I didn't slow the tempo down from the default. So. And then it says like the grade and the streak and the date. So this is currently I played 58 songs. So it ranked all the songs based on the highest, the highest progress percentage. So no matter your accuracy and your score is the most important thing also is the tempo, which is the hardest thing to me for, for most of these songs. Mountain Jam modified is an exception because I modified the guitar profile itself. You're not supposed to be able to click here. Whoops. That's a bug right now. Still, so this stat screen, you're juggling a lot of things. Global stats debug, common misses, chords by measure. Then you're also like going to the individual file and you could toggle, go previous to next, the different files. So here I have S tier, this one, uh, July 27th. Well, I modified it, it's not actually correct. Some of these, Stats are like debugging ones.
because I never deleted my stats. It goes back to 2023 at the moment. Um, but anyways, that's just what I wanted to show off. Improving the visual of the stats screen. So like if I go to uh, Jerry C, Cannon Rock stats, and I just look at... So I improved my, my note detection because I improved the speed that the notes are displayed as well. But anyways, this is A+. Plus. Progress is 98% because the tempo... Oh, the tempo's... See, this is another file. I modified the tempo of the song on through the Guitar Pro 5.5 file. So my this program here intends to not adjust the Guitar Pro 5 file. It intends to make a JSON of, of it and modify the JSON of it. So one that I didn't modify the Guitar Pro 5 file is Hideaway. You can see 92% accuracy. The tempo score is only 66% because the average current tempo is 84, but the average default is 127. So my progress is only 86% in B. Only three stars, not three and a half. B plus would be three and a half. But you know, even if, even though I got good accuracy, almost an A in accuracy, and I got 100% score, the tempo is taking me down of my progress. So that's pretty cool. I can see my progress over time, like before, 60%, 78, 70, Bs, different letter grades. So that's pretty cool, cool, cool al algorithm. You know what's funny though, in the, in the global stats, if I go down, I could see a lot of Kill Switch Engage songs, like Take This Little Self Revolution, Eye of the Storm. Like, yeah, I got 100% accuracy. I got 94%, sorry, I got 94% accuracy and 100 score, but the tempo is only 47%. So that's why it's like ranked near the bottom because of tempo. Because like those songs are fast, like 200 tempo, 180 tempo, and some of them. I'm not supposed to be able to click on that screen. But if I go back to the like a Kill Switch Engage song, 89% accuracy, but I only have 81% progress because of the tempos at 53% score because I, I'm having the tempo from 100 to, to 100 from 200. So yeah, it's pretty fast. But anyways, I just thought I'd share because this is pretty cool. I get to track the progress for each song now. Like if I go back to previous Oh, it's sequential almost. I could see C's and D's back in not. Well, that that title's not updating when I click the previous and next, so disregard that. But like I could see my score and all that getting better when I go to next, next, next. Like it, when I go back, it goes D, D, D plus, and I go next, and it goes C, C minus B, minus B, or whatever else. Anyways. That's I try to keep this short.